Today, the Heidelberg Catechism continues its look at the Lord's Prayer, looking at the second request. We read the Catechism's understanding of the second request from Lord's Day 48, question and answer 123. What does the second request mean? Your kingdom come means rule us by your word and spirit in such a way that more and more we submit to you. Keep your church strong and add to it. Destroy the devil's work. Destroy every force which revolts against you and every conspiracy against your word. Do this until your kingdom is so complete and perfect that in it you are all in all. Your kingdom come is a bold request and one that we probably don't stop to grasp the weight of as we pray. It's a request that flows out of the first thing Jesus commands us to pray for, which is that God's name and reputation be something very special and dear to us. As we come to know who God is, what God is all about, our next natural desire should be that God would expand the realm of creation where his influence is recognized. I say that's how it should be because the reality is that when we pray, we far more often ask for those things which expand the realm where our influence and desire are foremost. Do we really want to be more submissive to God? Is our greatest desire really for the expansion of the church and the gospel ministry? It's a bit easier, I suppose, to pray that the devil's work would be destroyed, except when we stop to realize that sometimes we kind of like the devil's work. We enjoy being lazy. It's kind of nice not to be bothered by what we should do about poverty. Tossing our styrofoam cups out the car window is a lot easier than caring for God's creation. And we certainly don't want God to destroy the harsh way we talked to our friend last week, even though the relationship is damaged. And yet Jesus tells us to pray, Father, may your kingdom come. In other words, let me be more steadfast in obeying your decrees, as the psalmist writes. Let me go joyfully when I'm given opportunity to worship God with the rest of his people. Let me be ready and willing to speak of the hope that is mine in Christ. And when I'm tempted to settle and say that things are good enough in my life with Christ, then give me a holy discontent to pray for the completion and perfection of your kingdom. There is an old saying that in order to truly pray, thy kingdom come, we also need to be willing to say, may my kingdom go. As we pray today and in the coming weeks for the strengthening of God's kingdom, let us also be people who long increasingly to be part of that kingdom so that God's influence in the work of Christ may be recognized and celebrated within us and among us.